know it's Freaky Friday. Not Happy Friday, because I do work tomorrow, too. But it's Freaky Friday. And let's just say that our water is not completely fixed. Our upstairs shower has nothing. The downstairs one works, but it's a tiny little square. Like, it should literally be a crime to make a shower that small. Because I could, I bump my elbow on the freaking sides. So you can imagine anyone bigger than me trying to shower in that tiny little space. Like, I can deal with it. But a work order was put in. Obviously, yesterday it was not fixed. And we all had to shower down here, which was not fun. Let's just say. So... I've forgotten that, you know, I threw the shower curtain away that was down here because I had used it before and it got funky. And I was like, well, if we're not using that one, we'll just not have one on it. And I, so I had to do an emergency run to get a shower curtain. And as I headed to the store, I'm like, wait, why am I going to spend a fortune at Walmart for a fucking shower curtain on a shower we barely use? Like hardly ever. I said, fuck it. I'm going to Dollar Tree and it's going to give me an excuse to go look for some other things that I've been wanting. Because I wanted to get another one of those bag of bones. Unfortunately, they were out. They have foam ones that had glitter on them and I'm like, yeah, those are not going to go and like, fit. I was going to put them in this. I wanted the realistic ones. To wedge down in the slime. Because they'll probably stay better than the eyeballs. <coughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Shit out of luck. I missed the opportunity on that one this year. But. Maybe they will bring them back next year. I did get a few Halloween things though. These are supposed to be tongs. I'm like, no, it can be a skeleton clapper. Clap on, clap on. Never had one of those, but I was always amused by the commercials. <laughs> I think we kind of all were as kids in the, in the 80s and 90s. We were all amused by that. And in fact, you know what I really do miss, though? That's hard as shit to find. A touch lamp. And yes, I did have one of those. My grandmother got me one of those. But these little clapping hands aren't now on my channel points on Twitch. In fact, I've revamped all my channel points. I found my boopers. So anybody that redeems a boop will get a boop. There's two different kinds. I'm not going to share what they are because, you know, I'm not spoiling everything. This is Freaky Friday. We're going to do the freaky stuff. So we have clapping skeleton hands. And I made, a, I made them cheaper. I took off the expensive channel points because I knew nobody was going to save up enough to freaking do them anyway. Um, I put batteries in the cat. The, the, the hands are pointing to up there. And I put it in front of my cat to see what she would do. She just kind of watched it and was like, uh-uh. And then eventually walked away from it. But she didn't like my cute little screaming alley cat, but that's okay. He's one of my favorite Halloween decorations that I've had for a very long time that came from Walmart years ago, as Stu the Skeleton. He is also on the channel points, so uh, meaning I'll have to pick him up off the TV and give y'all a joke out of him for channel points. Now, I did not put the handcuffs, but they did have these too, and I'm like, can I play games doing this? Oh gosh. Dude, yeah, no, like, it literally stretches the link from the mouse to the WASD keys. Like, it's, it's very uncomfortable. So I probably could add them, but I don't know, we might find something else to uh, do with those. Um, I didn't, shit. Oh, I did bring the other thing downstairs. I'm like, did I even bring all of it down? The other, the only other real Halloween thing that I got is a plastic container because it kind of matches those little, the metallic skeletons that I bought last time. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but... Hey, even if I don't have an idea now... Wait. This could be for my candy thing that I'm starting next year. So this will be the Halloween... Uh, candies... Rankings. We'll use this container. So, yeah. I mean, I could obviously do other stuff with it too, but for now, that's just the general thought. Now, also at Walmart, because I did have to do some shopping, I had to get some more glow sticks to do for the, um, the milk jug, uh, shit, what's it called? <laughs> the milk jug jack-o'-lanterns to put outside, which obviously they're not going to all be jugs. They're going to be uh, the cat litter containers, um, the soda bottles, whatever I decide to decorate. I'm like, obviously not doing everything that I get, but, and I need to finish those because I'm really not sure how much, how many of them I'm going to put out, but I do need to finish decorating those. Another project that I have not, uh, continued since I started it because I'm <coughs> well known for not continuing projects. In the Halloween section, five books. It is a fiber optic whip. I did put this on channel points. But I'm like, we probably can't put the word whip because that just sounds violent. But it is very pretty. So if I do this, if anybody redeems this, maybe we'll maybe we'll do some out in the dark playing around with this. Because this would make a cool video if I did it outside where it's completely dark. And, uh... Just to test out the beauty, the full beauty of it. Um, I'll try to turn off all the lights if anybody redeems it. So it'll be just a pause in the stream and we'll, we'll uh, have that. I don't know why it was specifically with Halloween stuff, because it's like, I love fiber optic stuff. In fact, my grandmother had a fiber optic lamp when she used to live in Feasterville, PA. So whenever we'd go there and stay the weekend, she would set up that fiber optic lamp and it was actually plug-in, not battery, which is like impossible to find a decent plug-in fiber optic lamp because I've looked on Amazon. I can't find any good ones. They're all shit. I mean, nothing's made as good as it used to be. But it was a plug-in, and it turned. It was good. It was my nightlight whenever I, whenever we'd stay. And I freaking miss that lamp to death. Um, but yeah, like, life nowadays is just disappointing because you can find nostalgic things and then realize... They're not as good as you remember. They're, they're made so cheap and so crap and so just worthless anymore. It's a shame, but it's facts, unfortunately. So, uh, if y'all didn't know, Walmart started... I guess you could say Black Friday stuff early. Um, this week was the first week of events. And if you're not really sure exactly what that entails, if you go to Walmart, go down the action alleys, which is the middle where the like features of stuff are, if you see a little thing sticking out of the topper of the sign that says deals for days, that's the event merchandise. So, like, they decided to start it this month because they have Halloween pajamas. Now, there's other normal stuff like you normally find on Black Friday. But 
there's a bunch of Halloween stuff as well. So then in our screens for our picking, uh, it comes up under holiday, and I'm like, oh, so these are just the event items. Not hard to find, and they are actually assigned properly, <laughs> like, because obviously not everything is, and it gets irritating when overnight sets a feature, and it's not assigned, and then our newbies of our team don't think to look there, try to substitute something else, and then it gets unpicked, and then whoever's doing exceptions has to actually look to see if it is on a feature. Ugh. It's not hard to assign something as soon as you set it. It really is not, because I know how to do it. I don't remember what screen it's under. I'm going to have to get somebody to show me, because I'm going to start fucking fixing this shit, because it's pissing me off. And it's pissing my other exception teammates off as well. See, this is the problem with knowing too much about where you work and not getting paid for it. But unfortunately in my lifetime I feel like that's never going to change. And sometimes it just sucks to care that much to do things right. But not going to change so it is what it is. Because nobody listens to us little guys that are on the front lines every fucking day. But yeah, so there's some there's some deals, some event items. Because uh, yesterday I was doing it, and they even put bikes out early. Like the easy build bikes for kids. And I ended up having to pick one of them and a pair of pajamas. The Halloween pajamas. I'm like, these pajamas feel nice and soft. They're, they're just bottoms. Like, they feel nice and soft, but I'm like, I know there ain't no pockets on those. And you know me, I cannot stand pants without pockets. I don't know what the hell the purpose of it is. I really don't. Like, I'm sorry, but it's got to have a pocket. If I'm coming downstairs, I don't want to have to carry my phone. I want to put it in my pajama pants pockets, especially if I'm coming downstairs to look for something else. I don't want to have to have both one hand tied up with my phone. Well, I'm trying to look for something else. And something that maybe, potentially, I have to pick up with both hands. In fact, I feel like it should be a crime to make pants without pockets. I really do. Now, leggings, okay, that's fine. But there should also be leggings with pockets. There should be both. We should have both. But pants without pockets, even pajama pants, is wrong. In my opinion. Also because of the chaos with the water and everything else going on, I did not get to upload the dad joke. But we do have Goofy Grady because I'm smart and I recorded it ahead of time this morning. Because <laughs> I, it takes forever to convert these stupid vlogs and then uh, upload them. And then I don't have time to record anything else because obviously it won't let me do anything else. So... Goofy Grady's been recorded ahead of time. The dad joke is still up there. I may upload it today. I may save it. Who the fuck knows? It depends. It all depends on my mood and actually remembering to do it. Because usually I do the dad jokes on my lunch break and I'm like... Uh... I, I had a uh, had a couple uh, Karen instances yesterday on social media, so... I don't know when I'm going to get to record those either. But I put one of them in his place. And I left the comments up on that video. For once. So. Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to record that shit. I didn't even have time to do anything for myself yesterday after work. It was all just non-stop chaos. No time to me. No time to do anything with my games. The only time I, the only thing I really did before I went to bed was my channel point fixing, and that's it. That's not really valuable me time, and I need valuable me time every day, especially with the bullshit that I deal with at work every day. So I'm a little on edge this morning. So yeah, we'll see how today goes, and I'll see you guys in the next video.